Hi, it's Rosie at Rose Paninko. I wanted to show you Harvest Time, which is uh, one of my new journals here that I've just completed. And it does have two signatures, and it is uh, quite full, uh, about 104 pages, and uh, with lots of uh, fluff and uh, ribbons, uh, beads, and buttons, and so on and so on. So this is called Harvest Time. And, um, well, it's not per se about harvest, but it is an interesting journal. And this is the back of it. It's kind of a bluish greenish fabric on here. And then it has a tassel and the black um, cotton, I guess, or closure. And inside the journal, I tried to fill most of it, but not every single pocket is filled. So I did leave some more, uh, space for you as well. And um, in this pocket, and this is paper here, I do have some astrology thingy here and a little bit of like a, a burlap fabric and a small thing uh, with a circle and brad and a couple of small things inside that you can use around the journal and uh, some different uh, things. This one has a, a couple of tags that you can um, keep in the front here and then here are two more pockets and here's another a collage tag and uh, something that I printed here and um, this is uh, it does have some uh, like uh, journal cards that are like uh, maybe collectibles or something maybe they use this on the table at harvest time and um, Here's a little bit of a tablecloth, maybe, that uh, is used on that table. And it's got these pretty, pretty um, golden colors on here. And, of course, uh, birds that I like to use. They always um, add a special touch for me to the journal. And uh, some fabric, uh, a little samples and beads over here. And then inside here is a tag and a sample of a sparkly um, black and silver ribbon. And here is um, an actual uh, vintage photo. It is in the sugar bush, it says, uh, 1940. Very um, cute little photo. And so maybe the gentleman here is getting uh, ready for the harvest. Uh, so this was like a, a double pocket over here and a um, little bit digital collaging and a pocket that I left for you to fill and some black and white images. Well, this one actually happens to be almost looks like a strawberry harvest. So there is something about harvest a little bit and uh, it's market and so on. A little bit of paper. A little bit of, you know, on the dark side that I like to use sometimes. And um, here is an envelope and it's got this beautiful uh, uh, coffee stained and I think food stained uh, doily. And it does say something about gardening there. So you can put that somewhere right out here or somewhere else. So a little bit of my painting bits here and there. And... Um, there's something about um, Eli's cream balm, some kind of cure, a curse by any other name. Hmm. Hopefully not. But anyways, uh, here are just a little bit from a book about ferns. And I think there is a harvest on ferns, I think, before they open up of uh, fiddles. I'm not sure exactly what they're called. But anyways, um, a little bit more of gold that I made here and uh, just um, maybe that same gentleman a portrait of him that maybe hangs in that cottage or in this house a little bit more about harvest <laughs> and um, here's uh, well this is uh, a vintage uh, postcard one of those that comes on a big strip of something interesting anyways and um, here's another one of these double pockets and I've got tickets in this one a bit more from the bird book and over here is a strip that you can use somewhere and here
here's the handmade Indian paper in this uh, vintage or even antique book page. Um, this is a pocket that you can put something in. And this one I did um, put a couple of things, uh, just a little writing paper strip and a, a small ticket. I just want to pull it out a bit in there so it doesn't get lost. And over here another strip, collaging and so on. And also Indian paper here, embossed, beautiful pocket for you to put something in. Uh, this was uh, inked, uh, coffee dyed and inked paper that I still have from, I did it a long time ago. Here's a pocket here. A little bit of my uh, digital collaging and uh, ribbon sample. And over here is a card. Actually, inside as well, it's got a small journal card and another ticket in here. So it has a pocket in the back. And then this pulls out, and it's a fabric sample that you can put somewhere else. A little bit of a collection at the uh, harvest table and some beads over here. Some coffee stained um, beautiful green uh, ledger paper a little bit of a bat actually we had a bat in the house our house of course is 160 years old and we have had bats in the past and uh, we did get another one out and safely outdoors um, but it was flying around at first I noticed that I'm going oh my god what is that and then, of course, my husband uh, helped me uh, to capture him with a towel and then put him outside. So this is uh, my uh, painting, and I did it show it in case. It's actually, uh, well, I don't know. You could even frame it, maybe, or put it somewhere else as a cover. And a few more things over here as well. You know, I like to throw in these kind of things. And... Um, this, the, this is a candle vigil somewhere, maybe celebrating the harvest time. This is a bit of a notebook, and here is a little bit more of that uh, sparkly fabric that you can use somewhere else. And another pocket here. And uh, this looks like a door and uh, steps. I like a lot of porches and doors and windows and things like that as well. And then here's a collage card with this um, beautiful, well, I don't know if it's a wolf or coyote. And uh, one more insert here and a little bit of fabric and over here as well. This uh, maybe looks like a place where they might have a harvest and um, I love the fields over here and and I included uh, a few of the uh, little snippets of fabric that uh, you can use somewhere else. So this is an authentic postcard in this pocket. And so this is harvest time. Uh, I hope you um, enjoy the video and check out the journal in my Etsy shop. Hopefully having a good day. I wish you well. It's Rosie at Rose Panenko. Take care. Bye-bye.